ladies and gentlemen, Matthews here from Human Day Forex Traders. As always, we are back again with the Forex Tester 5, the software that you need for you to be able to backtest your strategy and prove that your strategy actually works by using real time data. You can actually start from as far as 2000. You can actually test your system and see if your strategy actually works. And if it works, then you can actually carry it on into your live account, right? So it's really, really, really important for you to actually make sure that your strategy works before you actually start trading. All right. So if you want this tool, we need to be able to actually trade and actually backtest everything. The links are down in the description. And I have a special, very special uh, discount code below. If you use the link down in the description with the discount code right there included, you are going to get 40% off your purchase. All right. That's 40% using the discount code down in the description. So make sure you use that code for your purchase. It's really, really important. So let's start right now and uh, we start our new project right here. Okay. Uh, m and F. So this is going to be m and F project right here. And then uh, our balance is going to be $50,000 right here. Okay. So we're going to backtest our strategy. We're going to backtest our strategy. So right now we're going to choose what currency pair do you guys want us to choose? So let's go with GBP USD. We'll go ahead and just do that. We'll pull out the data and then start from there. And then, uh, yeah, we we'll go ahead and do that. So we are backtesting 20, 2018. Right here. So let's let price uh, move and then so that we can have some some data so that we can have some detail of uh, where the market can actually get to, can actually go all right so right here uh i'm on the 30 minutes time frame and then uh yeah so basically as always our stats are going to be imprinted right here so we'll take all the trades that we can take and then we we'll wait for the market to actually uh, we'll take everything and then we'll be rec all the all, all the records are going to be kept right here and then we can review them and see how we performed using our strategy so if you've been uh watching our youtube for a while now you know exactly how we trade we look for uh supply zones and demand zones at very very key areas so let's go right now and see how we can actually trade this right now so from from the start right here it's very clear to see that the market has been in, a, in an uptrend right it's very clear the market has been an uptrend and then yeah so right now we're looking for buying opportunities and always we're going to be risking 0.5 percent of our account okay so the market is in an uptrend therefore we're looking for buying opportunities right so uh i see this big move right here to the upside which is very significant i see this big move to the upside right here so uh, let's do some some laboring right here so i want to see what is happening below here i want to see what is happening below there okay so we can do some refinement here let's do some refinement let's drop the minutes time frame yeah so we do some refinement right here that's our last bearish order block right there that's the last bearish candle so meaning let's go to the five minutes let's see if we can have any other area right there uh, okay so i think we're going to stick with uh let's see let's use this one right here that looks too small so let's carry this so we're carrying all this uh consolidation right here so that's uh that's a drop is really right there and then right now we're looking to uh if the market comes into this zone we'll be willing to buy our stop loss are going to be just below our stop is going to be below here and we are going to target that high right there okay so we, 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 once the market comes into our area we we'll look for buying opportunities and then our target is that level right there and then this light right here is going to be our stop loss right here so let's try to push price to the upside let's see how the market is going to react as it's coming to this zone right here okay so and then we, we have uh, uh this nice presentation that, that the market is actually coming with you can see that this is a nice compression right here i've seen the market actually compressing beautifully okay 
and always after a conversion we, we usually see the market actually uh pushing up or down with big momentum candle all right so we we wait and see how the market is going to actually react from our level if it reacts then uh we'll get involved all right so that's a nice push there however not not really convincing let's see if we can have a further push to the downside into our area seems like we've, we've been left out however we're just going to wait and see what the market is going to do okay okay that's uh that's clean so we will do this to the upside right here and then what i want to see is how the market is reacting for that level right there so you can see that's a nice candle right there. that's a nice rejection right there on the, if you go to the one minute time frame you see that we had that big big news moment i'm sure this was actually the news so right here this is actually a very good uh candle for us to actually buy from to we'll target these highs right here in our stock so that's going to be below there so we come here market and then uh you can click here choose whatever uh risk you want to be risking on a particular trade for us we'll go with 0.5 percent right here and then in this case we are buying then you, you bring this here you choose you choose where your stop loss is going to be then right here where your target is going to be that. and then you just place buy and play price Okay. So you can see that the market immediately went against us. So let's see if the market is going to continue to go against us, or we might see the market push into the upside. Remember, no one knows. This is uh, this is not this is not this is uh, real time data right here. So let's see how the market that would have performed. This was in 2018 April. So let's see how 13th April, let's see how the market would have moved right here. Okay. You can see that the market is pushing to the upside. And the market pushing to the upside right there. Nice. A nice push to the upside. Let's see. I think the market wants to continue in our direction, so let's see how it's going to go. You can see that the, 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 this entry was kind of late. We would have actually waited for price to come into this zone right here. But if we got this zone, we wouldn't have, uh, we wouldn't have entered this particular trade. So, so right. So let's see how it's going to actually work out. Remember, you won't always uh, get those sniper entries. You won't always get those ones, All right? So as, as long as you're following your rules, keep on following and then just keep on executing. And like I always tell you guys, on a trade by trade basis, there's no way for us to know in advance what's going to happen. So it's all about just executing our strategy, executing your strategy, that you've proven to work and then that's all literally as long as your setup meets your criteria you are obligated to take all the setups all the setups that meet your criteria that's a thing all right So let's watch, let's watch and see how the market is going to move. So you can use any strategy to actually backtest. Uh, you can backtest using any strategy right here. If you use, you like using indicators, there's a bunch of indicators just here. There's a lot of indicators that you can actually use right here. So it's not just about supply and demand or smart money concepts. You can actually backtest any strategy that you have in order for you to actually uh, prove that your strategy works. So 
it's, it's a really really good software for back testing because it really gives you that raw real data and that, that you cannot even fake so you can see that the market is moving so let's try to, try to speed up let's see how this one is going to move so that you can uh, go ahead and look for other trading opportunities right here so yeah So, is it going to be a win or it's going to be a loss? Nobody knows, right? No one knows. So, like always, if no matter how good the setup might be, no matter how perfect the setup might look, you always have to understand that anything can happen. Literally anything can happen because that's how the market works. The market always works in terms of probability and there's no way for us to know in advance what's going to happen. So our job is only to execute as the market gives us opportunity. So right here we see the market breaking structure to the, to the up as it's pushing to the upside. We saw the market breaking this structure right here. Okay. Fortunately, uh, it doesn't really really uh put a push up very much very nicely. If it breaks like that, then uh yeah, that's a lot of momentum right there didn't even have the chance to move a stop loss to break even so if it breaks like that then we can uh yeah so right here we can just move our stop loss to break even and you can see that the market is almost hitting our take profit right there take profit hit beautiful you can see that we caught that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful buy to the outside. That was an amazing, uh, amazing, amazing trade. You can see that it didn't just go straight to the that point, but you saw the market actually pushing up right here and then came back to our entry level right there and then it continued to go to the outside. And uh, that's a reminder to tell you guys that the market always works in terms of probability. And there is no way for us to know in advance. And also another important thing for you to note is that the market doesn't move in a straight line. The market never moves in a straight line. So you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. All right, so that's how it is. So this is how this first trade played out. Amazing trade, it's very simple uh, train following, right? You, you follow the trend. And then you look for if it's an uptrend you're looking for buys if it's a, it's a downtrend you're looking for sales just like that and then yeah basically wait for price to come to your level then wait for your confirmation and then execute basically like that all right so this is our first trade a really beautiful win and you can see that the market beautifully pushed to the upside and then this is what happened right here yeah so this was a rally, a drop based rally. We saw the market coming back into this area, and then we entered from here. We saw the market pushing to the upside in a very, very clean way. So, right now, we continue to look for more opportunity. You can see that we've only taken one trade right now. So, we continue to look for more buying. As you can see right now, the only data that we have right now is that the market is going to the upside. So, let's continue to push price to the upside. Let's see if we're going to have any other levels to actually sell from. So right now, my, my next level to buy from can be this level right here. So if price comes back to this level, I'll be interested in actually buying from here. Yeah, I'll be interested in actually buying, taking buys from here. So let's see how this market is going to perform. So for now, we're only looking for buying opportunities. That's buying opportunities. That's all. Yeah. So that's how that's how it is guys that's how make sure you back test your strategy really back test your strategy and uh, have the confidence that your strategy works and that confidence only comes through you having uh put in time and actually uh seeing that strategy that works okay and it works by back testing it on your own back testing it on your own and having seen the market actually show you exactly how it responds to your strategy so like like always guys uh for example if you use pending orders 
this trade right here you would have actually gotten in right here you have gotten in and you have actually lost money right here so if you see that right here i was waiting for market the market to come here and i always want to see how the market is going to respond to my levels before i can jump in it's always important for you to see how the market is going to react from your level before you can jump in however if you use pending orders you you literally you you would have been taken out right there and you can see that there was no chance for us to uh, to actually get involved because this is just big momentum candles and most likely there was actually news event so we can actually turn on this button right here news and it will show you what kind of news event uh happened on that particular day so we had some uh, news right you can see that those actually cpi news that, that came out uh those are uh, gbp cpi news right here and then this is so what uh, was responsible for this uh big momentum kind of right there yeah so now we we we're, we're seeing the market now changing you can clearly see that the market is actually telling you that right now i'm no longer going to the upside it just tells you right that the market is no longer going to the upside because it has broken structure it has broken the higher lows right here so from now my interest is to look for buying opportunities so let's see how it's going to move okay so the levels that i'm, I'm looking to, to sell from is this level right here and this level right here so let's play price let's see how it's going to react those are the levels i'm looking to sell from you literally just follow price you follow price and the price is going to tell you what you're supposed to do it's that simple don't try and complicate so once you have a strategy in place once you have a strategy in place you have to focus 90 percent of your time on your psychology so this was this would have been a very nice trade i don't know how i didn't see this this was going to be a very very nice trade. i missed it out and you can see that it, 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 it would have been a very very nice sell right but it's okay you're going to miss trade you can't catch them all you can't catch them all unfortunately you can't so it's just a matter of you looking for more setups as the market is uh, giving you opportunity look continue to look for more setups continue to look for more setups because that's how it is okay so i'm looking at this level right here so let's see how the price is going to approach that level let's see how okay did touch that level it didn't quite touch that zone right there so it's okay okay so another level i'm interested in is uh this one here so you just follow price just follow price follow price continue to follow price and it will tell you where to buy or sell from right now it seems that this one has just come to an end so i've just taken one trade in the this trade has uh we just taken one, one trade right here on this particular uh, pair and uh yeah so let's see if we can find another one let's see if we can find another one Okay, let's see if we can find another one right here. Okay, that was one trade. Unfortunately, that was one trade. And right now, we've, we've actually closed this. Let's close this. So let's try to backtest another setup right here. Let's create an, you know, another new project. Unfortunately, we had, we had only uh, selected one, so there's no way for us to actually choose another one. So which one should I actually choose now? Which one should I choose? So that was hundred percent win rate. You saw that we just took one trade and that one trade actually worked out in our direction. So what other trade uh, can we, can we practice right here? Let's practice this trade. Let's see how how this would have performed. Let's see how this would have performed. Right. Yeah. 
So okay. Same amount right there. Let's go for US 30. Where are you? US 30, US 30. Right here. Next. So please make sure that you back test your strategy. Back test your strategy. Find out if your strategy really, really works that way, right? Before you do anything, before you start jumping on to the, the live chat, understand how your strategy works. Understand that your strategy works and uh, by using such a platform such as this, such as uh, Forex Tester 5, it's one of the best out there. So as you can see, you're able to really go back as, as far as 2008 and 18 for you to actually backtest your strategy and uh, really find out for yourself if your strategy works. So right here, what you can see that uh, the market is in actually in a downtrend. You can see it's in a downtrend. Therefore, we're going to look for selling opportunities, right? So we've got to we'll, we'll continue to look for selling opportunities right here. So yeah, let's see how this is going to work out. Okay, so off the chart right now, I'm going to look at this here. I'm looking at that label right there. Let's see if we can get anything. Okay. So let me just stop right down a bit. Okay. So you can see that the market just off the bar. The market has just come into our zone right here. It has just come into our zone. Let's just play like that. Okay, so for me. I'll be after these big big momentum candles and this push to the downside. This is a clear, clear, clear bearish as 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 a bearish um scenario right here. So definitely it's actually a good sell, and we've already determined that the market is in, a, in an uptrend, right? So would actually target these lows right here, stop loss just above right there. Okay, so let's try and see what is going to happen here. 0.5% stop loss just above this low and our target is going to be just below here so let's try and sell right there so let's see how it's going to be okay price moving quite fast right here so this one the market was really choppy the market was really choppy and you can see that that was a loss on uh, US 30. That was a loss right there. We just tagged out right there. The market was really, really, really top. Yeah. So where's the next level to actually uh, consider selling from? The next level to sell from could be, let's see, let's uh, continue to drop. Let's pay price. Okay, I'm looking at this zone here. Let's see. Yeah, so you can do your back testing, find out how your strategy performs and how it will have performed before you can actually jump on the charts. Really, really have some data before you can do all that. Okay, you can see that the market is uh, just reacted from our zone right here. Beautifully, they just reacted from our zone. So let's see how uh, this came here. So that's a nice push to our area. Yeah, that's a nice push into our area right there so the market came and tapped into the zone and then it's now going back so let's just try moving forward once twice and uh, for me that's a that's a valid sell setup right here we we'll have a nice radical drop and we saw the market coming tapping into our zone right there so let's see how this field have turned out and then uh, of course we are setting from there we are targeting these lows right here so we sell from here our stop loss just above here and our target below here we sell risk 0.5 let's see how this will have turned out wow that was a really really quick loss right there right you can see that the market just dropped the beat and then pushed to the upside Fortunately, that was a loss, and then losses are inevitable. Okay, so now I'm seeing something interesting here. 
So you can just see that the market just took us out. And then pay a price forward. You can see that the market is actually dropping. And then you can see that this was just a fake out. The market just faked us out. And then it starts, it starts to actually move in our direction. And like I always tell you guys, if you've been with us for a long time, you would actually remember telling me, telling you that as long as the market is still in your zone and giving you signs of actually continuing to go in direction, you are obligated to take that trade because the market is still in your zone right there. So we're going to sell here, risk the same 0.5, and let's see what would have happened here. Let's see how the market continued to move after this. Okay, seeing the market trying to push. Wow, US 30 can really, really move, man. You can see that, that was a very, very nice drop right there. That was a very, very nice drop. And then, uh, yeah, we've seen the market breaking these structures right here. So we can simply just move our stop loss to break even. And then, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's continue to play price. Let's see what would have happened right here. Our TP was missed by one pip. Yeah, that's uh, that's like that's it. You can see that I I was right about this order block right there, right? I was uh, looking at this order block. I was I, I was really convinced that this was likely to hold because the market is in a downtrend. The market is in a downtrend, and then we are trading in the direction of the trend. So it's really really important for you to trade in the direction of the market so that avoid take out and you can see that on the first trade we tagged out the market just took us out probably because the, our stop loss was too close but then when the market gave us another opportunity to enter we we're able to actually enter and then guess what this one went all the way and we actually uh, uh made some some good money of this particular trade right there so that's how it is it's uh, always like that Yeah, so this is how it is. Otherwise, this this was uh, a, a really, really, really nice trade right here. Uh, basically, following the trend right here, then you can see that we had a rally based drop, and then we saw the market coming back into our area. Then our stop was just above, targeting the next fresh demand zone, and then you take the trade. Guys, you are obligated to take all trade setups that meet your criteria, regardless of how many losses you've taken in a row, regardless of how many losses you've taken in a row, regardless of the outcome of the previous trade if the market gives you an opportunity you are obligated to take that setup right there it's really really important because you don't know which setup is actually going to make you a winner therefore you have to take all all right so if you want to be to purchase this uh forex testing software the links are down in the description the first link in the description will take you to, the, to this website and for you, our viewers and our followers, you get 40% of your purchase. So check the first link in the description, sign up and get started right here. You guys, I hope you found value in this video. Until next time, goodbye.